Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, and I, we were in discussion on this, and uh, there was just one more thing that I wanted to point out. As you recall, this is for an elected attorney general. I, I have believed for a long time that our attorney general is twice removed from the people since the Tennessee plan passed. It's been said on this floor that if it ain't broke, let's don't fix it. Well, folks, it's been broken. The 1870 Constitution provided for the election of the Supreme Court justices. In 1970, in the 70s, when the Tennessee plan was adopted by this General Assembly, the system became broke because we then had an appointed Supreme Court who then appointed our Attorney General. That makes him twice removed from the people. I trust the people of this state. I know there's been a lot of conversation about they'd have to raise money. Uh, there have been cases in other states where we'd had some dishonest attorney generals. That can ha happen with any of us folks, with, with anybody that is elected to office or appointed to office. And so I would ask for your vote on SJR 123 to elect the attorney general to just give us a chance to keep this alive until next year. You'll have two uh, then to consider. Uh, Senator Greens, we voted for last year, which would provide for an appointment by this body in the House, similar to the constitutional officers. This will just keep it alive and give us a choice next year. Senator Green. Uh, yes, Mr. Speaker, if the uh, sponsor will yield. Yields. Uh, just a. Uh, I wanted to clarify some comments made uh, last last time we debated this. I, I too trust the people of Tennessee. I, I do, um, but the problem with the, the elected attorney general, as we have seen in every other state that does it this way, is that they do move on to governor and or move on to run for governor. And the problem with that is you have a person who's in their middle of their appointed term, and then they step down and someone else comes in to fill the position for the remaining part of that term. And that's an injustice to the people of Tennessee. Uh, be, because once they are taking money, it is a conflict of interest. So I think that's an injustice. And a four-year term actually removes the people or the AG from the people more so than the amendment we passed last year or the uh, resolution last year. Last year we said that this body would elect. Well, this body turns over every two years. We would do it like our constitutional officers, which is every two years. I think that's even closer to the people. So uh, just thank you for the opportunity to share that. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.